Anna Hickey, and welcome to Emerson Exchange on the Technology Exhibit Floor, where we are about to learn about the very latest in renewable asset management software. Joining me for that discussion is Brett Benson from Emerson. Welcome, Brett. Thanks, Anna. Glad you could be here. Yes, thank you. So tell me, what are we looking at or discussing today? Yeah, so we're going to be looking at the Emerson Renewable Asset Management software today. And let me go ahead and take you right into the program here and kind of show you the features. Great. So overall, you see on this screen here, we have five major areas. We have a functional area, we have a tree area, and then over here we have the kind of the visual, visualization area. Mm -hmm. And then at the top, I have my KPIs. So KPIs are uh, basically your performance indications. So I can customize these to show exactly what I wanna see uh, as the uh, owner operator of the sites. And then the very top line, there's a quick access to my filters. Uh, so if I want to see, you know, just an alarm, a particular alarm that's going off, I can look at that one or I can go and, and see everything. So I'll come back to that here in a second. Sure. So again, if I start on the left hand side here, uh, right now I'm looking at the overview mm -hmm. and we'll, like I said, I'll touch, touch on that a little bit more. But each of these little areas, I have an alarms function. I've got my historical information I can pull up. I have my anal analysis of, in this case, I have my alarm analysis. Mm -hmm and I've got my reports generation, and then a control screen, and then at the bottom here is CMS, that's Condition Monitoring System. And so this is you know, a vibration essentially from our unit. And each one of those I'll go into a little bit more detail, but first of all, I really wanted to talk about this area right here. So um, this display right here shows me all of my assets. You know, wow. it, it scrolls really fast yeah. through there. That's a lot of assets in here right now. Uh, well, they also can be separated into this tree view right here. So I can look at them from this perspective and I can go into individually look at them. Or what's really nice is I can come over here and if I want to see everything, I can switch this view. Oh. And I can go to OK here. And now it doesn't look like much, but as an operator, hey, maybe I just want to know if my units are OK. Right. So. I can look here and I go, okay, green's good, mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. Yeah, so orange, well, maybe there's a problem there. A red, definitely a problem. Yes. And I can also just filter that out a little closer and I can see, okay, I've got these few units that have a problem. So I can click on that individually. It will take me into the unit view here and I can look, okay, I see this unit is paused currently. I want a little bit of information about that. I just simply click on that and it gives me that detail right here. Wow. So pretty neat, pretty easy to get to. I can even add notes to this if I want to. That's great. Yeah, so if I come back out of that, mm -hmm. um, I can also go down here. Yep. So this particular unit, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna give a unit that's a little bit more interesting. So this one has a little bit more data associated. So sure. this is my unit view. So all of our wind turbines have this particular view. And I can see the drive information. So this is the, all the mechanicals associated mm -hmm. with this. And then over here I have the grid information. It's connect to, connection to the grid. And then at the top, if I want to see any alarms or previous alarms on here, I simply click on that. And I've got alarm view and I can, can actually go into a little bit more diagnostics of this. How often has this alarm occurred? And I can get into the details. I can see my, my detailed analysis, so. So Brett, can you tell me more about the functionality? Yeah, so let me show you some more of these functions here on the left side on this navigation bar. So of course, the alarms we've touched on before, but I can also go in and again, real quickly and easily get into there. So just, just to show you that navigation. And then if I go on down here, historical information, um, we have GADs here, but we also have production displays. And so if I really wanna just see the individual production of my units, I simply just need to uh, select that. Um, this case I have a set last seven days, but I can also set that for 30 days mm -hmm. and I can add whatever units I want to this display. So if, I want, if I'm missing a unit, I just click on that and I add that unit, very simple. And then if I want to do some more advanced analysis of my alarms, I can pick an alarm area. In this case, it defaulted here to my last one, the unit four, 104 rather. And I can quickly just select the alarm and it pulls up the data and I can add other, other data to compare it to. And it makes it really simple here to do some alarm analysis. Oh, great. Report function, mm -hmm. pretty simple, reports are reports, mm -hmm. yeah. but I've already got pre-configured canned reports on the side here. I can generate the report and I've already generated one here to kind of show you that we can send that, we can publish it to the next level, or we can just save it as a text file uh, and, and uh, send it off to our managers and let them uh, play with it, if you will. Um, 
displays, or sorry, uh, parameter controls. Uh, that's one thing we can do as well. With uh, We can download all the parameters from a wind turbine like a Vestas or GE wind turbine, bring it into here, we can compare it to other units, we can change parameters and we can upload it back to the wind turbines. Really nice feature. And then finally, my last one here is probably one of the more interesting ones, and that's the condition monitoring system. And we bring all the analysis data from the gearbox, from the rotor, into the software so we can see the minim minimums, maximums, averages uh, for, the, uh, for the operation. Of this case, I'm looking at the gearbox, and then I can do spectrum analysis as well as just vibration analysis by clicking these two buttons here and instantly pops it up. So really nice, easy functions. And again, that's what makes it really a performance management software uh, to allow you to you know, get the most out of your wind turbine. Wow, wonderful. So how does this software differ from other SCADA products? Well, that's a great question. So this software is truly a renewable package. So we are able to bring in assets, including your wind turbines and your battery storage, as well as your solar assets mm -hmm. into one program. And out of the box, it has this one look, this look and feel that is specific to those applications. Um, so if I look here, I've got all my, my different units. I wanna go into to one um, this display here. This display, uh, in this case, is for a D-Wind model turbine, mm -hmm. wind turbine. It doesn't matter if it's a Vestas, GE, uh, Siemens turbine, they all have the same look and feel. So as an operator, now I can come into the system and it does, I don't need to know specifics about a certain manufacturer. It all looks the same. The other part of this area we can go into is uh, under the plant view. So if I want to see all my parks together, I can see, and I can break them out individually and see each of my units. And go into detail. Oh, wow. So now I noticed a lot of visualization functions for wind, mm -hmm. but what can you do with control? Oh, that's great. Uh, so control wise, you know, I was kind of just showing you exactly, you know, how you might look at this stuff. But if I want to actually control the unit, obviously start, stop. I do have quick access to those controls right here. However, if I really want to go into um, detailed control, um, for say the entire park. Maybe I want to shut down a whole park at once. I hit this control and I go down and I can select all these different units and I can either enter a set point over here or an individual start and stop to these units. What's more, we have a, a feature that's very uh, exclusive to this product. Inside of your wind turbine tower, a lot of your wind uh, turbines have a, a display inside the tower itself. Uh, we used to call them two line displays. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, the technician might go in there and manually uh, shut down the turbine, change the yaw, change the blade pitch, um, do some parameter changes directly inside the turbine uh, itself. We mimic that panel in our software. So from a remote location, the uh, operator staff can actually go in and do those exact same things that they can do right there at the site directly in the software. And so here I have multiple different units displayed, but these are actual mimics uh, and this, 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 this system, actually, we're talking to real turbines today. So this is actually from real turbines oh, from cool. our customers, yeah. So then how does this software fit into a remote operations control room? No, oh, yeah. So uh, as you saw before uh, in our site overview here, so I, can, I have all these views of all of our different turbines. So this doesn't, um, this, it doesn't matter if it's you know, one site or in this case, we have six sites. I can also, down here, I have my, my PV plant, so if I want to get a, see my uh, photovoltaic sites, mm -hmm. all that can go into one common software package. So all the alarming, all the trending, uh, all the operator interactions, all the diagnostics and maintenance can be done from this one software package. Now, is there a particular feature or number of features that every wind operator will benefit from? Yeah, that's a great one. Um, I'm gonna narrow that down to, uh, there's one feature in particular I like, and great. it's in the historical area. Um, so if I go into downtime analysis, there's something that says GADS mm -hmm. right there. The GADS is a uh, generation report that's required by the U.S. Uh, NERC organization. And every uh, uh, quarter, these uh, GADS reports have to be submitted to NERC for analysis. And so if you have a site that has, say, 200 wind turbines at it, you have to send a report in for its operating status for 200 units. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of paperwork, a lot of manual labor. Yes. So we've incorporated that all into this software. So it's all automated. So if I go on the screen here, so I see I've got several units selected and I look across and I go, oh, wait a minute, there's, there's an area here, it's red. So what's that about? I didn't see it's forced turbine outage, level five. And it tells me the duration was nearly two hours. 
Uh, there's, uh, you know, the, the other maintenance, there's, you know, obviously the grain is working fine. Uh, other little maintenance areas in here that show you like maintenance turbine hours. So this turbine is down for maintenance. Um, so all that is built in and then I can generate a report. It comes in a spreadsheet, all ready to go to the, to NERC. So it's just one thing that I don't have to worry about as an operator owner of these turbines. Wow, yeah. well, thank you, Brett. If, if someone wants to get started in renewable asset management, where should they go? Yeah, so they can either go to the website uh, at our renewable website, or they can contact an Emerson Power and Water Solutions salesperson and they can take them right through this. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time today. And Thank please you. be sure to check out more demos available as part of the virtual Emerson Exchange.